guys, welcome to another Summer Guys production. I come back with this show. Hi guys, welcome to another Summer Guys production video. Alright, today I'm going to have a look at the, um... Alright, so today I'm going to have a look at the, um... Hi guys, welcome to another PCarry 12 Productions video. And yes, this is the Apple iPad, and I'm actually going to tour or I give you a tour, more so, of my actual applications I've got on here. Uh, best ones I probably have to say is uh, probably not on the front page because everything on my front page is pretty much just uh, stuff like uh, comic book uh, stores, uh, you got Marvel and you got iVerse. Um, you've got my magazine subscription I create, uh, plus I've got a Time Magazine issue here. They're always good applications. There's a Compass application there, there's a Gmail or the Google application. There's of course the Amazon Kindle one, I have no books for that. iBookstore, I have actually got some books for that. Uh, I actually bought the one book here <laughs> called uh, Digital Fortress. Brilliant book, by the way. Uh, so that's the first... Oh, yes, I also have a printing application. That's brilliant. I'll actually show you that. It's actually awesome. Okay, continue. All right. So pretty much, you can access your email, printer out here, add you, go into web pages, um, access any type of uh, files that you may have and anything from the clipboard basically and you can print it directly over Wi-Fi to your printers okay other things we got here got a doodle program for just drawing stuff it's nothing really fancy is another drawing program this one's pretty good paper desk uh, brilliant for uh, taking notes and stuff like that uh, Pandora obviously Facebook video that's good Yahoo, that works uh, pretty well. ABC Player. PKT Weather, that's brilliant. Uh, BBC News is good. AIM is good. The banner program is pretty good. The whole iWork suit is obviously good. Twitternator, brilliant program. I am and definitely get good reader. Uh, Dragon Dictation, a bit dodgy, but this one's a brilliant app as well. Desktop. Allows you to pretty much run two things side by side. So say if I want to show um, a web page on one. And yeah, I've got two web pages open simultaneously. But say I want to open, say, I don't know... Uh, email. Okay, so I've got email on one side, right here, see? So I've got an email there, uh, pretty much. And I have a website on this side. So yeah, I can go like that into the website, pretty much go up and down for that one. And I can have this any way I like, obviously. See? And that's pretty much it. It's a good application, I think it is. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that for that. Uh, all the games I have here, I highly recommend all these games. Whoops. <laughs> uh, Goldfinger, brilliant game. Basically God. Uh, Tap Tap Radiation is good. Air Hockey is good. Harbour Master is a must get game and it's free. So get that, uh, Real Racing HD, uh, Asphalt 5, except the music function doesn't work like on the iPhone, so it sort of sucks. Nova HD, brilliant game, and Need for Speed Shift, very, 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 very good game, even if it is just $15 US. Um, Red Alert, uh, Command Conquer Red Alert, brilliant. I don't know what they mean by laggy and crashy because it runs beautifully. Uh, bowling, obviously Duke Nukem 3D, Top Gun, and Demolition M. Very cool. Uh, right. RJ DJ, pretty much a Voyager. Uh, that's similar to the iPad, iPhone version, except more broader. 
you got sticker, that's post-it notes basically. Uh, that's just a piano keyboard thing, so I'll show you that now. See. So that's pretty much that. Uh, True phone, that's just IP phone. There's a recording application, there's another recording application there, Evernote. Uh, log me in, you've seen probably videos of that. Um, here's a good app that I think is good. It's a drumming app, but you can do much more than just drums. So you've got your basic stuff here. Okay, as I was saying. And not only you can do this, you can do record play and settings and all that sort of stuff, but you can also choose any different type that you want. It's a different sound there. Uh, here's a good one. Uh, you got other ones like Freak, which you got Sword. Uh, you got this one. Different there's tons of percussion sets. even uh, mouth music. There's a ton of percussion types. I'm not going to go through all of them because there is a lot of them. Um, so there, yeah, that's pretty much that drum app. And then you've got your Amazon.com app, we've got an eBay app, obviously log me in. There's a few Australian apps in the system at the moment. One is called Sydney HD, which is Sydney traffic basically. Uh, brilliant application. Uh, it shows you all the cameras basically for um, anywhere in Sydney. So. You've got Pacific Highway in Chatsworth, you've got uh, M2 and Ride, um, you know, all the major uh, cameras there, and it even shows you the map basically of where it is on Google Maps. It's actually a pretty good application. Uh, the other one is a TV guide for Australia and New Zealand. Uh, it's, yeah, should orientate. So, yeah, all the channels we have here in Australia, as you can see, all different times Channel 7, Channel 9, all from your iPad and iPad app. So it is pretty cool. So, yeah, that is pretty much all my apps in the quickest nutshell I could actually think of. Um, yeah, I, the applications I actually recommend would actually be the printing application there. Uh, also, uh, Twitternator, brilliant app. Uh, the iWork suit. Uh, desktop, that's a brilliant app, as well as Goodreader, that's a brilliant app as well. Other apps here, brilliant games I think you should get would probably be uh, Need for Speed Shift, Air Hockey, and Harbour Master. The uh, number ones I think are pretty good. Um, everything else, yeah, these are iPhone apps. I keep them separated from the iPad apps. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much everything. Um, quick tour of my iPad. So I'll catch you guys later. Um, if you've ever wanted to see what a micro sim looks like 
from another telco um, from a in, instead of AT&T all you see is AT&T micro sims this is an actual micro sim just came out today uh, for Australia pretty much um, this is a Telstra micro sim for the Apple iPad uh, so pretty much what we get is it costs about 30 Australian dollars and pretty much you get one gig plus an extra two gig of data included so three gig of data per uh, for this thing and pretty much you basically just need to top it up every day because it's prepaid it's not a plan uh, pretty much all the uh, it's on the next G network so brilliant just faster than the regular 3G network obviously yeah um, so yeah this is it I'm not gonna open it yet because um, I wanna savor it for when I actually get my iPad in about a day or two to time so yeah this is what they look like the Telstra prepaid micro sim Apple for the Apple iPad right there. Cheers!